Jewish rapper Matis Yahu rose to fame in 2004 with his blend of reggae, rap, and his Hasidic faith. For the past six years, he celebrated the Hanukkah holidays here in New York and elsewhere with a series of eight performances appropriately entitled The Festival of Light. But something will look a bit different about this year's concerts. Matis Yahu joins me here in the studio. Matis, welcome back. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm well, so something's different. <laughs> you posted this photo of yourself uh, yesterday on Twitter, shaven, the, with the beard off, and it has just um, kind of become a thing in the Twitterverse. Uh, you accompanied that with this statement, No more Hasidic reggae superstar. Sorry, folks, all you get is me. No alias. I am reclaiming myself. Yeah, I mean, I guess you want to serve an explanation a little bit? Yeah. Basically, um, beard or no beard, I don't know, you know, and and I wrote uh, another tweet later that day saying, as people were sort of freaking out and taking the fact that I don't have a beard anymore to mean he's not Jewish anymore or he's mm -hmm. not religious at all anymore. And the same day after I shaved my beard, I went that next morning to the mikvah and to shul at 6.30 in the morning like I did the day before, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, the, so, so why were people freaking out about, the, you know, shaving the beard off? I mean, you know, explain a little bit the significance of, of growing it in the first mm -hmm. place and then what, what you were thinking yesterday when you shaved it off. Well, I guess um, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you my thoughts about it. When I first started growing it was when I started becoming religious. I was like about 20 years old, 21 years old. I got really into Judaism. I wasn't, you know, I, I got really interested in it. I went to different shuls. I went to different rabbis. One day I put on a yarmulke. I got on the subway, and I felt good. I felt good representing myself as a Jew. And um, uh, the two days later I put on tzitzit, you know, and... I just stopped shaving. I just, when I was 17, I listened to reggae music. I love Bob Marley. I started growing dreadlocks, you know. Mm -hmm. It's always kind of been my way, I guess, that the outside matches kind of what's going on with me inside. And um, I never shaved. Now, the reason why I never shaved, that gets more complicated. And I'll give you a little bit of a description of what it's about. Um, it says in the Kabbalah that the beard represents the 13 attributes of mercy of God basically that everything above is connected below mm -hmm. and uh, sort of like in a mirror and so things are mirroring each other constantly and that there are symbols and representations of everything above with God here in this world and somehow the beard is like the manifestation or the symbol of God's mercy of these 13 attributes of mercy that are connected to 13 parts of the face mm -hmm. and there's an idea that I had heard that the blessings and the brachas come through those attributes of mercy. And I had this fear in my head that if I would shave my beard, somehow those blessings would be cut off. Ah. So does this shaving yesterday, posting the photo on well, Twitter, what, does what that happened, mean you've overcome that fear? What, yeah, what happened was I recently realized, you know, that, you know, that God's mercy, you know, it can't be how can that possibly be connected to me shaving or not? And I began, over the last few weeks, I, I went through a pretty major transformation, and I'm um, probably bigger than any in my life, um, due to several things. But a lot of revelations and a lot of realizations started coming clear to me. And I, I realized just like all these fears that I have, you know, and that the idea that God's mercy is connected to whether or not I shave, is ludicrous and um, and I need to just trust myself and that you know if I'm deserving of God's mercy I'll get it regardless of you know what you beard. look like yeah. yeah we're speaking with Matis Yahoo the uh, the reggae musician and rapper and uh, singer and songwriter uh, let me read you a comment there's actually a, a number of them already on our soundcheck page Sean in Louisville Kentucky writes no Jew gets out there like he does and impacts religious Jews secular Jews and non-Jews alike with the Torah especially for my generation does that 
hearing that sort of thing, is, is that what you're going for, to kind of spread the word outside the community as well? Well, I've always, I've always been that. I mean, I, I wasn't raised in a, in a tight-knit religious community. You know, I went to public school. I never thought of myself as making music for one group of people, and that sh was seen through, through my crowds and my audience. Mm -hmm. But those kind of comments are just so, feel so good right now because the support is, is beautiful to see, you know, and, and it gives me sort of like a certain faith in, in mankind, you know, because there's so much hatred out there and, and uh, to see good things like, you know, people saying that stuff is good. Mm -hmm.